In Microsoft 365, there is Microsoft To Do, Planner, there's tasks in Microsoft Outlook, and there's tasks in Teams. How do these all fit together to form the perfect productivity system? We'll find out in today's video. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and we help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365. Check out 365gearsystem.com. Now we all want to become more productive. There's so much we want to get done within our businesses and our personal lives. Now there are some people out there without a productivity system and these people are overwhelmed. Now if you use Microsoft 365, then you're in luck because Microsoft 365 has all the tools that you need to become productive. You've got Microsoft To Do to handle all of your tasks. You've got Microsoft Planner that enables you to collaborate on complex projects or daily tasks like credit control or marketing activities. Then you've got a tasks function in Outlook to help you manage your emails and also a task function in Microsoft Teams. Now you might think, this sounds a little bit confusing. Is that four applications to manage my productivity? That's gonna make me even more overwhelmed. Well, thankfully, all these applications work together and they all talk together. But you've got to first understand the main Microsoft 365 productivity principle. Now I can hear you ask, what is the main productivity principle in Microsoft 365? Well, it's this. Everything centers around your Microsoft To Do. Microsoft Planner integrates tasks within your Microsoft To Do. Outlook passes tasks through to Microsoft To Do. And Teams tasks also integrate in Microsoft To Do. So you've got to remember that one principle. Microsoft To Do is your main productivity application. Now the best way I can explain this to you is to show you. So let's jump on that computer behind me and I'll show you exactly how they work together. So this is my Microsoft To Do and this is where all my tasks are centralized. So what I can do, I can go into my tasks and I can start planning my day. So I can think, right, okay, I'll do this today. I'll add that to my day and I'll speak to client A. I'll add that to my day as well. So my day starts to take shape. But then what about Microsoft Planner? Well, if I go into Microsoft Planner here, I've got it open. We've got a marketing department plan that contains all the people who are responsible for marketing. So someone might pop in here and think, right, we've got a video filmed, let's edit it. And the best person to do that is Jonathan. So they'll assign that task to me. So once the task has been assigned to me in Microsoft Planner, I can simply go back to Microsoft To Do and I can look at the Assigned To Me section. And in there, that task is automatically filtered through to Microsoft To Do. Now, I can treat that task as I would any other. I can drag it to one of my lists or I can add it to my day. So that's what I'll do. Now, if Assigned To Me doesn't appear in your Microsoft To Do, you've just got to switch it on in the settings. And to do that, you go up to your, your name or your photo, you click on settings and you scroll down and Assigned To Me must be ticked and also Planner must be connected. So any task assigned to you in Planner is switched on. Now, if I go back and I complete that task, so go to my day, edit video, Let's pretend that I've completed it. So I will select here, which marks the task as completed in Microsoft To Do. If I then go back to Microsoft Planner, if I just refresh the page, you can see here that edit video has disappeared out of here and it's actually down as completed here. So you can see that Microsoft To Do does speak to Microsoft Planner. So what about Outlook? I know lots of people who treat Outlook as a to-do list on its own and you want to stay clear of this. You want Microsoft To Do to be your main productivity application. So how do you do that? Well, let's hop over to Microsoft now. The first thing you can see is that there's a link to Microsoft To Do within Outlook. So you can click on there and it shows you a copy of your to do where you can add tasks. You can do pretty much everything. But that doesn't really help me with my emails. 
There's also the old Microsoft Tasks, which will show you your tasks. Again, this is a live integration with Microsoft To Do, and you can simply add tasks in here and they will synchronize over to Microsoft To Do. But for me, that doesn't really help me either. I don't want to be putting tasks into here. I might as well just flip over to my to do to add my tasks. What I want to do is kind of link emails into Microsoft to do. So I've got an example email here. This is an email that I'm not ready to do anything about just yet. But what I might do during my weekly review on Friday is look at this and think, is there anything I need to do? Do I need to read it? Do I need to order the book that Ali's talking about? But I don't want to think about it just now. So I'm going to go here to follow up. Now I can choose today, tomorrow, this week, but I'm going to put custom and I'm going to select to review this. So you've got all these options here. Select to review on Friday, which is the 17th. And then I'm going to add that flag to this email. Now, if I go back to Microsoft to do, you can see here, I've got a flagged email section. And again, this task has filtered through to my Microsoft to do. So again, I can do whatever I want in here. There's a due on Friday because I said that's when it's going to follow up. So on Friday, this task will automatically appear in my day. I don't have to think about anything else. When Friday comes along, what I'll do, I'll review this email and I'll complete it. And then when I go back to Outlook, you can see that that task has now been marked with a green tick. That means I've completed it. So that's how Outlook integrates with Microsoft To Do. What about Microsoft Teams? How does that work? Well, let's pop over to Teams now. Now you can see in one of my channels, Andrew wants me to review a report that he sent to me. So I don't want to forget about this. During today, there might be lots more messages in Teams and quickly, I've got a lot of work to do. I might overlook this request from Andrew. So what do I do? Well, I simply go to the message. I click on the three dots here and I go to more actions and you can see here, create a task appears. So I simply click on there and this Microsoft to do page appears. Now I can change the task itself. I can change this to review the report for Andy. I can put this in any of my buckets in Microsoft to do. I can set the priority, the to do, the due date. I can do what I want. I can also amend the notes in here. And once I'm happy, I just simply click on add the task. Now, if I go back to Microsoft to do, you can see I go into my tasks and you can see that that task has appeared here. And there's a link to it here, to the Teams chat itself. And again, I can do whatever I want with that task now. I can add it to my day, but it's in my productivity system. So that is how Microsoft To Do is your main productivity tool. And Planner, Microsoft Teams, and Microsoft Outlook all talk to your Microsoft To Do. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can clearly see how all the applications work together, but Microsoft To Do is the main one. I look forward to seeing you again soon.